it is getting really, really bad out here for women. There's no other way to put this. There's no other way to slice this. Like it's getting bad. The struggle is real. The struggle is upon us. And what makes it so frustrating for me is the fact that I know that if we would get in alignment with men, right? Not males, not little boys and grown men bodies, but with men, with grown masculine men, if we would get in alignment with men, we could flourish. We would not have these problems. There has been so many men out there that were ready and willing to marry us, settle down with us, provide for us, protect us, lead us, teach us, nurture us, all of those great things. They were ready and willing to do those things. But due to a lot of the women out here being stubborn, being selfish, being toxic, being destructive, right? Being entitled. A lot of the men say, you know what? I am done with it. Enough is enough. You don't appreciate me. You don't deserve me. So figure it out on your own. And that is exactly what we're having to do. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I've been hearing a lot lately about how women are getting evicted. Women are losing their jobs. And if we are working and we're working full time, we're not getting paid enough. We're really out here having to work two and three jobs just to try to make one end meet. And what's making it even worse is the fact that you have all of these different corporations, jobs, and in this video, I believe they're talking about like tech. You have all of these different career fields saying, you know what? I don't want to even hire women due to the entitlement, due to the laziness, due to them just wanting so much from you, but not ready and willing to pour into what you're going to ask of them to do. And rightfully so, ladies, I'm going to be the first one to tell you, as a woman, I don't like to do too much. I love having my husband to where I can hit him up to help me out for anything, whether that be for emotional support, mental support, physical support financial support like i love that luxury i love that privilege that i am able to tap into when it comes to having a man in my life right but it's just not something that you're granted just because absolutely not you have to put skin in the game baby you have to appreciate you have to reciprocate it is a luxury and a privilege for a man to have you to be a part of his life. So you have to make sure that you are adding on. You have to make sure it's worth it for him. You know, a lot of us feel like, oh, because I'm a beautiful woman that, you know, I just deserve to be pampered and I deserve to be paid so much and I deserve to have this and I deserve to have that. No, you don't. You have got to work for the perks. And the struggle is going to continue to get even more real for us if we don't wake up, if we don't snap up out of it. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, and I know y'all going to hate me for saying it, but I have to be real and say it myself. As women, we are just naturally not designed to have to work too hard and do too much. That's how we're made, okay? The man, on the other hand, though, is no, more naturally designed and inclined to be more productive, go out here and work hard, be the providers, be the protectors. Like they're equipped for, for that. Us, no, which is why we need to go and get with men. However, you got to know your role, you got to play your part. Nothing is for free. All right.
You have to be respectful towards that man. You have to listen to that man. You got to be submissive towards that man. You have to make his life more enjoyable and easier. And in return, he's going to give you the world. Please believe me. I speak from personal experience. He's going to love you, honor you, take care of you. You ain't got to worry about much. Is it perfect? No. But is it worth it? Hell yes. We could fix these problems overnight if we would just get in alignment. But we refuse to. And now our jobs are even on the line. We are getting, let me put it like this. And again, y'all like the video. This is crazy. Women today, with us being so entitled, so lazy, so selfish, self-centered, we are getting rejected on all fronts. Whether it be in regards to men, careers, job opportunities, businesses, hell, even friendships, great relationships with just people in general. All the way around, we are being rejected and it is causing us to be broke and broken on so many different levels. But the level I really want to hone in on today is the financial level because that is something that is very important. Like we need money to survive. We need men to survive. But look at what we're doing, ladies. By us not taking accountability, by us not doing the self-reflecting and realizing, hey, I have to put out in order to get back. Look at what's happening. Even the jobs are like, yeah, no. So pretty soon, y'all are going to be begging these men to take you in because nobody's going to hire you on all fronts we are messing up let's get into this and again like the video share the video and subscribe hi my name is Miami Wishova um, I'd like to start with a short introduction about myself I'm a woman in IT obviously I'm a CEO of a quite profitable IT company I'm a mother as well so you would say i went through quite a lot in the it industry so i have the experience and authority to talk about this topic now what i want to say is that the whole talk about women in it is usually a bad thing for us uh, because basically what it says is well it's okay to have lower income it's okay to do uh, worse than boys in the IT industry because, well, there's a world conspiracy against you, you know, people hate you, that's why. So that's why I'm against the whole talk. Also, I did some recruiting because I have a company. Uh, and also I went to a school that had like eight girls and 100 boys. So, you know, I'm quite used to being around a lot of boys. <clears throat> the whole thing is, Girls are usually quite lazy. They're just not that good programmers. Sorry, but that's true, honestly. Uh, they just don't want to get their hands dirty to do the job. And um, when I tried to do some recruiting, I intentionally wanted to recruit women. And at the end, I failed to do so. Do you want to know why? Because most of those girls were usually just cheating and um, they just... They were just not good programmers. At the end, I had to recruit boys. Uh, and that's why I think the whole talk about let's recruit more women is bad because at the end, you're recruiting worse programmers. Uh, at the end, your company is going to suffer. You're going to lose some money. I know it's trendy to talk about women in IT, but I think women should just start studying more and getting the job done. And I, I honestly don't see girls staying up until late at their office and working that often. No, it's usually a boy staying there. Why? I don't know. So that's what I want to say. Uh, I think the whole lecture should be removed and I think it's just bullshit.
Did y'all hear that? This is why I said women are going broke and getting rejected. Even the jobs are rejecting us. Let's rephrase this and really put this into the proper perspective to show y'all how scary this is. Even the top tier careers, jobs, opportunities, you name it, with women in charge are saying that hiring women is a bad idea. It's a bad deal. It's a bad investment. What did she say? She said, because women are lazy and she is speaking as a woman that is in IT, speaking as a woman that is a mother, you know, like she, she's, she's well within her rights to talk about this and, and give her take, give her perspective. And she is even saying, look, hiring women, that's stupid. They're not going to perform as well. And rightfully so. Like, like I said earlier, like we're not designed to be out here grinding and hustling and bustling. Like that, that's for the men to do. Ladies, we should have been getting with the respectable, responsible men being complimentary to them, building with them and letting them handle that. But since a lot of the men are done with y'all because you don't act right, now you have to go out here and fend for yourself and you're still struggling. You're not even able to fend for yourself properly because the jobs are not even hiring you. They don't see the value in you. She said the men work harder. And again, rightfully so, it's in their nature to do that. It's in their nature to outwork and outdo the women. But due to the fact that a lot of us, and I'm just being honest, you do not have to attack me. Due to the fact that a lot of us want the world handed to us without having to do anything in return for it or to get it whatsoever it's like yeah well you can stay out there pretty soon you all y'all are not only going to be begging for jobs begging for opportunities begging to be let in but y'all will absolutely be begging these men to forgive you to help you and I really have this strong fear that they won't because they won't trust you. They won't believe you. They'll only look at you like you're only trying to get on their program, so to speak, because you are desperate. You are struggling. You are lonely because you're not able to get the right jobs because nobody is willing to hire you. Nobody is wanting to pay you, you know? But we keep doing this to ourselves. And I am tired of it. Look at this. Let's listen again a little bit. Y'all like the video. I'm against the whole talk. Also, I did some recruiting because I have a company. Uh, and also, I went to a school that had like eight girls and 100 boys. So, you know, I'm quite used to being around a lot of boys. <clears throat> The whole thing is, girls are usually quite lazy. They're just not that good programmers. Sorry, but that. And she's talking about in reference to IT, right? But I'm pretty sure this could apply all across the board in all different career fields. Women, we are going to be more lazy when it comes to work and being productive with building it. Come on, program it. Yes, no. That's true, honestly. Uh, they just don't want to get their hands dirty. We don't want to get our hands dirty. That's why we need men. But see, I don't want to act right for the men. Do the job. And um, when I tried to do some recruiting, I intentionally wanted to recruit women. And look, I look, she said, I wanted to recruit. 
Oh my gosh. This makes it even worse. She said, look, I own my own IT company. I was out here intentionally looking to recruit women, which indicates what? Maybe more than likely she has a little bit of that feminist energy in her. Yeah, I want to see women succeed in this male dominated industry. Yeah, I want to put women on. I want to help women out. We can do this too. And even she is like, yeah, that backfired. Even the feminists are saying no. Investing into women in today's climate is a bad deal, a bad investment, a bad idea. Don't do it. I thought like this is a waste. She said, I intentionally went out of my way as a female woman boss to go and find and recruit other women and i found that they were extremely lazy they did not want to get their hands dirty and they were just not good at the job the men were better and again i'm going to keep saying rightfully so ladies until we get back into our natural states our natural roles we will continue to fail we will continue to go broke and get rejected wake up do something differently and what makes it even more sad for me is like i said before the men were ready and willing to take care of you you blew it now, all across the board, you are having to struggle. I hate this for y'all. I really do. This is only going to get worse. I'm really afraid. I am. Y'all should be very afraid for each other, ladies. With y'all getting rejected left and right when it comes to these jobs and careers and men and opportunities, I can only imagine what you're going to have to resort to doing. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I, I don't know. I, I have no words. How do y'all feel about this? You know, is it going to get worse for women? Do you feel like this hope? You know, will they eventually wake up and clean it up? Y'all let me know. I hope so. But it's not looking that promising. Even the jobs are like, yeah, no, thank you. Where are the men? Anyway, y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And again, ladies, wake up. Peace.